Hello everybody, hope you're doing all right. Gotta make this a quick video because um, Anna's now on the way home from work and I wanna get this done before she gets back. So I'll try and hurry through this. <laughs> so yeah, sorry it's been um, a little bit longer than I planned to actually make it another video. The last week or so, as per usual, everything's been a bit crazy. I did try to record a video a few times a week or so ago, but I kept getting interrupted. So I, I just gave up. And then the second half of last week, we had our, um, our little home, if I can see, you can see this, a little home festival <laughs> um, download was supposed to be last week, big music festival in England. Uh, obviously that didn't happen, but they, um, they did an online thing where they had interviews with bands and they, sh they showed some of the old videos from um, like previous festivals and things like that. So it was pretty good fun. So what we did, we set up a projector in the back garden and we watched that. We just basically sat in the back garden and got drunk and watched that. So that was good fun. <laughs> so yeah, the second half of last week, I, I yeah, literally did nothing productive at all. But yeah, I've been trying to get a video sorted out. I figured I've got a spare few minutes now, so I'll hurry up and get something done. So yeah, anyways, I'm sure you can tell from the, the title of the video, I did not stretch my conch. I, um, I did try to. I gave it a go the... probably... I forget exactly which day I recorded, but it was, it was literally the next day after I, I recorded the previous video in the end. But when I tried to um, stretch it up, I just used a little bit of um, lubricant and just tried to push the jewelry through and it just did not go in at all. It didn't, it didn't budge one bit. So I thought, well, um, I've been through this enough time to know if it's that tricky to getting it to go in, then it's, it's not going to be a successful stretch and I'm going to end up having to take it out and downsize and wait another however however long it's going to take to, um, to, first of all, to stop hurting again after the trauma from the, the failed stretch, plus to let it actually settle in and just be ready to try again. So I knew right away, I didn't really try very hard, because like I say, I just knew right away from previous experience that it just wasn't, don't glass off, that it just wasn't going to be a successful stretch. So this here is still uh, 16 millimetres. And this one's obviously still 17. I'm keeping, obviously, I haven't shrunk it down at all. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, literally the morning after, I, I stretched, or I attempted the stretch. I was at work and I, I nipped to the toilet just before leaving the yard to actually start my round or my route. And, um, yeah, I actually glanced up in the mirror and I just, I could see through this conch, the big one, the 17 millimeter conch. I don't know exactly. Somewhere like that, I'm guessing. You might be able to see through it if nothing's in the way. But I don't know if it was just the lighting or the angle I looked at it, but it just looked huge. I could just see straight through it to the wall behind me. And I just thought, yeah, I, I like that. That's cool. <laughs> so, so while it was disappointing that this one didn't didn't take the very first time, I um, it's, it's not a problem. It's not the end of the world. Like I say, I'm, I'd much rather just take my time, even if it takes another six months or another year. Before it was 100% ready, I would rather make sure I was actually ready and do everything. Cats are making noise. And do everything the best that I possibly can, given my specific circumstances. So, um, yeah, so like I said, it's a little bit of a shame, but not the end of the world. But, um, yeah, I've been trying to think. Sorry, the little kitten is doing something in there. I just don't want to hurt herself. <laughs> if, I, if I suddenly have to run off or something, it's because she's done something daft. But yeah, she, hopefully she'll come wandering back in here in a minute, I'll show her off, but anyway, yeah, so, <laughs> so yeah, like I say, still, um, I'll probably give it maybe another two months, something like that, and then I'll try it again. I say, I don't, um, I never use anything like tapers or anything like that, and I just use the very smallest amount of um, lubricant, so it's not, it's, it's, it would be easy to get sort of a, a false sense of security if I caked in in some sort of lubricant, some sort of oil or something, and then it just slipped in. If the only reason it's going in is because of the oil, then it's, it's not ready, from my experience at least. So yeah, I just use the absolute tiniest amount of oil and just, if it doesn't go, it doesn't go. I don't try and force it, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything daft and hurt myself and put myself even further back. Chances are if I, I've, had, I've, I've done it in the past where I've put it in before they've been too, before they've been ready, and as a result, I've had to take them out and often actually lost size and gone back on myself. So it didn't feel right to me, so I didn't do it. Simple as that, basically. But yeah, I, um, something else that unfortunately hasn't happened this payday just gone. I was planning on buying my um, the wood turning lathe to start experimenting making, making earrings. But a couple of unexpe uh, unexpected expenses came up. 
plus I forgot I had car insurance to pay for. So that so altogether I um I haven't I haven't been able to buy it this month, but at the same time I'm lucky that in the sense that I had the money put aside for the lathe and I just used that to pay off the other the immediate expenses. So it might be another month or two before I can start putting money away again. So that, again, that's a little bit further behind where I would like to be, but it is what it is. I'm um, I'm planning on stretching my ears for the next 50 years if I can. So if I have to wait another couple of months to start making my own jewellery, then so be it. It's hardly the end of the world. That's, um, that is something I'm really looking forward to doing. I'll hopefully... I'll hopefully be able to make a few random bits. I don't know if you can hear that lumping upstairs. I think... Uh, the kitten is called Coco, and um, Millie, our other youngish cat, what was that? The other youngish cat, <laughs> they absolutely love each other. They spend all day just attacking each other and like wrestling and running around with each other. And I think they run around upstairs at the moment together. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, so um, obviously I haven't got the lathe yet, but hopefully within the next couple of months I'll be able to finally get that sorted out and actually start experimenting, making my own jewellery. Yeah, I can hear them, like, fighting each other upstairs. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, sorry. So, uh, where was I? Yeah, so as I was saying, um, hopefully within a, a, a month or two, I'll be back on track where I want to be and actually start trying to produce my own jewellery, which would be really good. I'm really looking forward to that. It's something I've considered on and off for quite a while now. And now I have my own, ga uh, not a garage, sorry, uh, what do you call it, a shed in the back garden. And it already has electrics running to it when we bought the place. So that's perfect, so I'll be able to set up in there and, and create my own little workshop and actually, um, yeah, actually start working on my own jewellery, which would be really nice. I, um, I'm a big fan of anything DIY, so that'll, that suits me perfectly, which is good. Plus, in the long term, after I've made however many pairs of earrings, I will, I will, it will eventually pay for itself, <laughs> even, even if, um, yeah, the first couple of ones might be, ex might be inexpensive, like, um, I know they're several hundred quid to get a half decent lathe. So yeah, the first pair of earrings will be like, what? Several hundred quid plus expenses and, and materials and whatnot. But then, in theory, each consecutive one will get cheaper. So yeah, that, that's, that's the way I'm looking at it anyway. <laughs> in the long term, I will be saving myself money as well, which is always a good thing. So yeah. Um, other than that, there's nothing... Not no, not much in the way of actual mod news. I still haven't bought uh, stuff my nose yet, just because the website I normally use has actually been shut down due to the whole um, the whole pandemic going on. So that's a little bit annoying. There aren't too many online websites I actually trust, so I'm waiting for them to reopen again, so I can actually get myself some decent quality jewelry, and then I can have matching nostrils again, which will be that will also be nice because I don't like having one giant thing sticking off the side of my nose. <laughs> It'd be different if they were both the same, but. You know, whatever. So, um, yeah, the only other thing I've been thinking about, I've been really, is we had planned to, at some point, already be doing tattoos before, like now. But obviously, again, with everything that's happened, everything's shut down, that's not been a possibility. So I've really been, just lately, been sort of fantasizing about tattoos and going forward. And I really just want to get a lot more black. I want to finish this arm off. I think that'll be the next plan. I'll probably bring it up to where the, the natural sort of groove where the shoulder is and um, stop it there for now and then do the exact same on the other side and then I'll decide exactly what I, do with my what I want to do with my shoulders from there. I probably won't do them completely black, I'll probably do some sort of design or pattern on them and um, I also really really want to get my hands tattooed solid black with them. Um, I do have, as I mentioned before, I do have a few ideas for little things I want to put on my hands so um, that will be something to come as well. And I'm hopefully finally going to be restarting up the um, future modifications videos that I was making before. I know with one of the last ones I had, the last one was one of the tattoo videos where I talked about doing something specifically about my hands because I forgot that off the video. So I will hopefully be getting that sorted out soon as well. But yeah, um, I'm sure Anna won't be long now, so I will call it quits and say goodbye and I'm hoping I'll record this probably. <laughs> It would be um, just my luck if I've managed to not record or something dark and have to start again. That does happen quite a lot. So yeah, um, yeah. Hope you're all doing well. Hope everyone's staying safe, and I will see you again soon. Try for now.